YouTube, what's poppin' baby? Um, I don't know if y'all saw the post that I just made recently, but turns out instead of the flu, I actually have COVID. And I still feel like absolute dog shit. So if I sound kind of funny, um, that's why. Also, that would be the reason why the last couple days I haven't had any, <coughs> any videos being released. But I didn't want to go through the whole weekend and not have anything for y'all. So I did want to go ahead and talk about something. It has to do with the recent crafter celebration that we just went over. So basically... What essentially happened was when they had the cost reduction for all the stuff, including the transmute crystals, people were going in and they were realizing that, hey, I can create something for, you know, 12 and a half, 12, 13 transmute crystals and then decon it and it'll give me back 25. So it was basically a way to infinitely scale up your transmute crystals. So a lot of people went and made all of their builds down the line for every single class. Other people also noticed that you could make a bunch of gear um you know get a bunch of transmute crystals and then recreate or reconstruct a bunch of gear that had the nernhone trait and then when they decon that they got a bunch of nern crux doing that right and so they made a lot of money doing so that's definitely considered an exploit okay the problem is is that this is not something my opinion on exploits is it is always the developer's fault always if you put something in the game that is broken it is your fault if players notice something that's broken, you should hot fix it. But to go ahead and ban people, I'm talking about hundreds of people were banned. Hundreds of people, okay? So you've got this post on Reddit. It was pretty funny. It said, we're introducing a new event where transmute costs are halved. And it says, oh, cool. I can finally reconstruct that set I've been wanting to try and then deconstruct it later if I decide I don't like it. Banned. So not only were the players that were reconstructing, deconstruct, uh, deconstructing for the Nern Crux those people were banned. That's a little bit different because you know it's an exploit and you're trying to make money. But a lot of other people were just basically getting all their builds together. You know, the transmute crystal grind is a grind and it takes a lot of time. It's a time gated grind. You can do your normal dailies every day. You can do your daily um, battlegrounds too if you really wanted to get tier one in PVP to get the 50 transmutes each month per character. There's lots of ways to get transmutes, but it still takes a long time, especially to recreate a full build. Even with um, you know, completely maxed out, like lowered transmute crystal cost, which is 25 for reconstructing gear. It still takes about 300 transmute crystals for you to actually, um, recreate an entire set, right? Not an entire set, but like an entire build. That means jewelry, weapons, all the gear, all that stuff. So all in all, I didn't want to make this video too long, but I wanted to say this is, this is really shitty. You know, this is something that you guys put in the game. This is something that you messed up on. By inherently making a system that didn't translate over in multiple ways meaning you put the reconstructing costs down low but the deconstruction you guys just forgot to make that the same amount that you originally made it for right and that's your own fault you quickly you know remove that from the game but then to go and ban a bunch of people that's just really bad taste honestly so i know that there's a lot of hype for the gold road coming up in june but this is usually the time of year where the least amount of people are playing. There's usually a big content drought. Like we have update 41 that's coming out and you've got some class changes, but that's not gonna make you play the game. It's not gonna bring you back to the game to do a bunch of stuff. They're not putting anything in new outside of a couple dungeons. And while that is cool, you know, after I get the hard mode done on each dungeon, like it's fine. It's in the random dungeon pool, it's in the pledge pool, that's great. And it's nice, I'm excited to try it for the first time. I haven't been on PTS in that sense, like testing out the dungeons, because I don't like to do that. And I'll run the prologue quest, but that all in all is going to take one day of gameplay. So realistically, your Q4 launch, which is update 40 to, um, and you have game events and stuff like that along the way, but all the way to your Q2 chapter, there's usually a big content drought. And you have in-game events, and that's why they call it event season, because they know that there's a big content drought and not a lot to tide you over. So they try to bring you in with all these events, these cosmetics that you can earn with event tickets, stuff like that, right? But to have a mass ban wave over an exploit, which is not harming the game, it's their fault. It's just crazy, honestly. It's wild to me that they actually went through and banned a bunch of people. It's got a ton of uplikes on, on Reddit. I mean, it's almost 1,000, which is a lot for Reddit, if you're not familiar with that, at least for this subreddit. Um, this guy said, are people actually getting banned now? Yes, they are. The issue was you could create items at reduced transmute costs, the 12 costs, um, then recon them for a greater number of transmutes, 25. 
So you could just keep adding up transmutes. Most of us said that can't be right, must be an exploit. I warned people on this sub not to do it because they banned for doing any exploit. I thought it was a little obvious that was not intentional, but here we are. So I don't really fully agree with this sentiment. The thing is about this is warning people is one thing because it's true. We know that Zoss is going to do this. So if you see something in game like that, that's clearly not what they designed it to be. They're going to view it as an exploit if you take advantage of it. And whether or not that makes sense logically, that it's their fault that they put that in the game and players are just using it to have more fun, um, I don't think that that's bad, personally. I think that what people are doing is having more fun with the game in that way. And I think taking that experience away and then banning people for that is insane. I would never, I would never download this game again if that happened to me. Seriously. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. I know people were trying to make money, do whatever, but... It's just ridiculous. Don't forget that they ban people and then investigate if the ban was correct. If they later decide you're innocent, you think that they'll give you compensation for the missing game time, subscription time, or missed tickets? Like hell they would. Exactly. They're not going to. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's it's really... The whole situation is messed up. And the other thing too is, of course, they've never, they haven't communicated anything. Right? There's a lot of people that... And I, I pulled up this Reddit post because it was very popular. But if you go onto this subreddit and you go on to elderscrollsonline.com and go to forums, there's like a ton of these, right? And there's been no communication from the dev team about this. And all they're going to say is it's a game exploit, you're getting banned. And it's like, it's just, it's really bad taste. It's really bad taste. So if y'all were, if any of y'all were one of those people that got banned, I'm really sorry. Um, I think it's really stupid. I'm on your side. I think pretty much the entire player base is, minus a few people because there's always people that are you know basically just glazing Zoss like that but it, this is just like adding to negative sentiment between them and the player base and they don't have the best relationship with the player base right now um, and they haven't for a little bit you know we get all hyped and stuff around the events we get all hyped and stuff around the announcements and the announcement trailers and with gold road coming up there's lots of stuff to be excited about but in the meantime the day like the day in and day out gameplay with elder scrolls online and the way that the devs are with us it's not good dude and this is just really bad taste and i don't really understand how they see this and they're like that was extremely detrimental to the game you worsened other players experiences by doing this you're banned when i think of somebody getting banned i assume that they're being overly toxic I assume that they are cheating, either whether that be like somehow like flying or being like invincible in PvP or an exploit and getting achievements or something like that. That's totally different. But literally recreating builds or creating new builds. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought that was one of the, <coughs> excuse me. I thought that was one of the exciting things about this game. Um, it's just wild to me, man. What do y'all think? Did y'all get banned? Did you not get banned? How do you guys feel about this? Um, I personally, obviously, am pretty against this kind of shit. I, I'm pretty sick of this, too. And um, it's just, it's one of those things, like, I think we should have expected it, ultimately. Because it's it's not unlike Zoss to do something like this. That they accidentally put in the game, players accidentally do it, or intentionally do it. But whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.